Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TGC 2019. And of course we're going to be playing for you today is another uh, TGC Tours 2020 Major Championship Design Contest Olympic Edition. And this is one that I've been actually waiting for. Now, CSU golfer or Dario Logan, fantastic designer, but his courses are hard. Very hard indeed. <laughs> it's just so, <laughs> I mean, you look at the uh, Sergio Garcia there, minus eight of the AI. Uh, I won't get anywhere near that. I know for a fact, even before I start this course, uh, this course is going to be very hard. I mean, like I said before as well, I think a lot of these courses are going to be polarizing for people, but you've got to remember this is uh, hosting, the winner of this contest is hosting the Olympic major event on TGC Tours. So it's the creme de la creme of the top players are going to be playing these courses. So they have to be difficult. So let's get this underway and we shall get it started. We'll put the AI on very hard. Like I said, I can't see me getting anywhere near them anyway, but we'll put it on very hard anyway. Everything's on default. Oh, the fairways are normal. So he's not got the fairways firm. So that's not too bad. Uh, the greens are firm. The green speed is fast. Everything else is default. Bloop, there's only one set of tees. And it's the blue tees, and they're coming in at 7,850 yards. We're playing pin set number one, so it's a very long course as well, and it's going to be very tough. Now, if you're not familiar with um, Dario Logan or CSU Golfer, I'm sh I think, yeah, he did. He won last year's major event as well. And that was Susquen Sasquinock? Sasquinock? Sasquahannock, I think it was called. Now, if you haven't played that course, or you haven't seen it, check the channel. It's on that. That was the, the winner. I'm sure, yeah, I'm positive it was the winner from last year. <clears throat> so you're talking almost a year ago. You'd have to go back to see it. But that was another fantastic course. Oh, where's my mouse cursor? There it is. Let's put the, the old sky cam on. Let's zoom back a little bit. That was a beautiful first hole. I meant to say it just as the flyby was going, but I was too busy chatting. Love the lighting as well. You see that just coming through the trees there, the old sun shafts or god rays, I like to call them. Uh, it was a clubhouse. I think this is a clubhouse here. Very modest little clubhouse. Yep, and uh, you got a little practice green there. Got some hospitality pavilions around there as well. I love the way he's done his crowd setup. Oh, sort of spread out. The way you, you probably would find it on a proper tournament. Now I've seen the last course I played, um, the Lynx one. Uh, I, I picked up on that straight away when you had like just big pockets of crowds. I think this this is the way crowds should be done. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely perfect. The way he's done his crowds. And here's your driving range. Here's your driving range there. I do like the fence that he has going all the way down the side of the driving range there, just to separate it from the main course. And we're going to go up and we're going to have a look from the blimp view. Oh, look at him. He's got a lot of houses down here as well. Matter of fact, they go all the way around the course. And in between the course as well, it looks like, yeah. Very nicely done. Even down here as well. <clears throat> So it looks like he's got actually full neighborhoods down here. So let's go down and have a little look, shall we? Yep, very nice. I do like this sort of greeny part that he's got here. Now I did read um, a couple of posts on the forum and somebody asked why he hasn't got street lights and trash cans and all things like that or that. But I mean, if you look at this plot, look at the size of this plot that takes almost up the whole plot some courses you'll play will only take up like quarter of this plot but this takes up virtually the whole plot and that is why you're not going to have all the little tiny things like trash cans and little tiny assets and all that like outside of houses with cars and stuff like that because there's just not enough room there's not enough memory uh, for a course like this to put all that kind of stuff on it Especially when you've got the, the grandstands and the crowds and all the tournament stuff and all that, out the pavilions and stuff. But, but look at this, I mean, you've got the walls, the fences and all that. Lovely houses. I do like the way he's done the sort of neighbourhoods. And if you've seen some of the courses i played before, when people have done these sort of big neighbourhoods and all that, <clears throat> which I haven't noticed here. I mind you, I only went down one side, but a lot of them, sometimes you get 
like a corner of the house floating or something like that but these are all these all look perfectly flat to me he's done a really good job right let's get back onto the course because no doubt you're not interested in seeing little houses and stuff <laughs> and again love the sort of crowd work that he's done here oh we're back up to the first tee and there's a practice green there so we'll go down this way go over the car park there you go there's some cars there Beautiful. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Like I said, I'm, I'll probably be happy with around about par or just under. Hopefully I can shoot just under par. I'm not expecting to shoot anything very low at all. But as I said, this is one course that I have been looking forward to. Because it doesn't bring out many courses. But as I said, when it does, be sure to play it because it's going to be an absolute beauty of a course i mean look it's just so clean so perfectly designed very well it actually looks like a major course if you know what i mean i mean if you look at augusta and things like that, how manicured that course looks that's what you get with a a csu golfer or dario logan course fantastic designer okay so i think you have seen enough we're going to head back down onto the first tee here we'll just bring it around and we'll just Pan it around and you can get a look back down this first tee because I think, like I've always said, with course design, I mean, I don't, I've never used a course designer, but you want to grab them on the first hole. I mean, but look at that for a first hole with the grandstands and look how close the spectators and the RT as well. That's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to put the HUD back on and we are going to get this started. Oh, we've got 10 mile an hour wind as well. Okay, Conservatory West Major, hole 1, 490 yards, par 4, stroke index 10. Right. And we have Peach to start with. Nice. Yeah, as I said earlier, guys, I think a lot of these courses are going to be a bit hit and miss for some people because... Uh, if they go to play it and they just see it on my channel and think, oh, that looks nice, I'll go play it. And they're going to think, fuck that. I'm not playing something. Because these courses are going to be very hard. That's the whole point of these courses. I know I said it in the other couple of videos that the physics, the ball physics on the greens and all that. But the courses are supposed to be playing very hard. Matter of fact, I'm sure I've seen a warning on his bloody post. I'll read that in a second. Let me see. Okay, well, we've got 205, so it's playing 207. Hold on. Sorry about that, just had to clear my throat. No, I haven't got corona or COVID, whatever you call it. <laughs> right. 211, 10 mile an hour wind against 226. That might be too much, but I don't think that's going to make it with that wind, you know. Let's put a lot of down loft on it, but look at this slope in front of the green now. I want to be up past there. So I think I might just go with a five wood here. And hopefully it pulls back a bit. Okay, yeah, let me find this, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, that's going right. Yeah, that tell you what, that's not as bad as I thought. I'd rather be there than off the the green at the front yeah what it says here i've just went through all these um these posts here warning i'm not kidding here the conservatory west major layout is an extremely difficult course to play a uh, course a uh, golf course that will challenge even the best players in the tgc world please play the members version and then decide if you're willing to take on this challenge master clubs only the ultimate test of bowl striking, 7,800 plus yards of tight cambered fairways, tongued greens, and tucked pins. So there you go. You know you're in for a, a tough old slog around this course. Okay, 40 feet, one foot down. Right. Everyone's going right to left. I just want to try and get close to the hole here. All right, pull up. That'll do lovely. We'll come away with a part. Yeah, if I went with that shorter club, I don't think I would have made it up that 
little slope at the front of the green now and it would have been harder chipping up than just putting that little putt that little lag putt down there k hole two 459 yards par four stroke index eight again that lighting it's absolutely superb i love the sort of texture that he's got around the base of the trees as well and i think because of the the amount of memory you use the size of the plot and the amount of planting he's got in here you wouldn't be able to put like little bushes and trees and wispy grasses around the, the trees and things like that oh mr logan what have you done here i don't know if you've noticed that where were I? <laughs> that's just when it flew over there this, this whoops where am i that way Where'd that go there? It's just the shape of that green caught my eye there, but it's not. It's just that this when it flew over, it just looks funny. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird shape. Right, let's get back to it. <laughs> yeah, it's just with that flyover, I thought, uh oh. That's a funny shape green. Right. We're okay. Pretty thin fairway down here. We aim kind of over the top of this bunker here. That wind, if I hit it good enough, it should just pull it back in for us. Oh, I kind of pushed that a little bit to the right, but I'm kind of hoping that wind pushes it to the left. Uh oh, I heard the crowd going, oh. But that is okay. We've got a nice little kick off the, the rough there. Okay, 171, so it's playing around about 176. Now, you can see what I mean. You can, It didn't look like it when I up above it, but when you do that, just there. <laughs> that just caught my eye, just, just the shape. Right, 176, I said, wasn't it? 176. 183. Oh, look at that big, nasty slope we're on as well. 176. Yeah, that should be about maybe a little tiny touch of loft on it. I don't want to put too much loft on it. Because we've got to get it on the green. Come on, get on the green for me. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bloody crowd. You can hear them going, oh. Right. So, little flop shot down at the 24. Plenty of loft on it. Just try and get it to stop. Stop, come on, stop. There we go, right. Hopefully we'll pick up the par here. Okay, let's rotate this control a little bit. Because that gives me a straighter putt when I do that. So 187 greens and a lot of these pins are going to be tucked and they're going to be in very tough spots to get to. So a lot of the times you're actually going to be playing for par and trying not to hit bogeys lovely big bunkers there as well oh look at that for a pin that is just nasty okay 243 30 down so it's playing 233 226 that's going to go right off the back that'll, that'll end up in that back bunker there that is just that's just no way i try i don't I, ooh, I don't know should try and get through that or I pull it back and go for a flop shot. And I hate flop shots. Or I pull it back and go for a pitch. What's that? 194, 243. So that's going to be about 50 yards. So that's even too short for a bloody pitch. So I think I'm going to have to just go with this and maybe go for a flop shot. A five iron, I think. Oh. Right, I'm going to go with a 5 iron, I reckon. No, I'm going to go with the 5 hybrid. This might end up in a bunker. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have quite a... You're going to have to have good um, course management on this course. I mean, really good course management. A lot of these pins, you're not going to be able to go for them. Okay, well, we've got 32, so it's playing 34. We've got 30 with the sand wedge flop. That should do as I reckon. Again, I'm putting a little bit of loft on this. Oh, yeah, it's a bloody slow. Fuck! Oh, 
dear. This is going to be our first bogey. God damn it. Right. Yeah, I'm expecting to hit quite a few bogeys on this, to be honest. So I'm not going to be too upset if I hit a few bogeys. But I would like to finish round about even, or maybe just one or two under par. K hole 4, 499 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. Because like I said, a lot of these fairways, they're going to be quite thin. A lot of the greens are going to be pretty tough landing areas. Pins are going to be tucked, as he said. He's warned you. <laughs> Play the member version. And it's nice that he's done a course like this and he's brought out a members version as well. Okay, let's aim right down this right hand side and let the wind bring it back in. That's beautiful as well, that sort of just avenue of trees just going right down there. Look at that. Beautiful view. Oh, I pushed that way to the right again. Come on, kick. Come on, kick, kick, kick. There we go. That was a big bloody push over to the right. K196, playing around about 198, and again, as you see, really tough pin position. Right, 196, let's put a bit of loft on this, and then just try and let the wind just drag it around for us a bit. Oh, that's turning a bit quick. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is not bad. That's probably as good as you're going to get it there, to be honest, I think. Oh shit, you're kidding me. Ho 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 Mr. CSU, that is just nasty. But, I didn't look behind the pin. I could have played really short up here somewhere. That was down to me. You've got to check these, I think. Okay, 17 yards. I'm not going to chip this. I am going to go with a flop. 24. Tons of loft on it. Right, pull up, pull up. Oh, oh, are we going to come away with another bogey here, I reckon? Oh, 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 oh. Come on. These are tough putts. Just a little tap. Oh, frick. <laughs> I am going to enjoy this, though. This is going to be one hell of a challenge. Two over. Damn. That was... Oh, I thought that was a nice shot coming into that green there. And then I just seen the slope. Oh, my God. K-hole five, 618 yards. Par five, stroke index 14. Now, hopefully, hopefully we might pick up a birdie here. Depends, let's see the pin. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a tough landing spot. Jeez. Good thing the wind has dropped down quite a bit, though. Uh, what did I say? This was 615 yards. We're not going to reach it in two anyway, so... Try and get close enough for a little pitch shot or a flop. I'd rather go in with a pitch shot, but I don't know if a pitch shot is going to actually pull up on that little landing area. Again, you've got some beautiful views just coming down, following the ball down the fairways here. Okay, 330. He's playing 335. And we're just going to whack the two wood up here, I think. Oh shit, hits a slow. Oh, stop bloody going. Oh, crowd. <laughs> <coughs> That's not too bad. Right, what does that leave us with? 66, so it's playing 
69, we've got 68 with the gap wedge, so a bit of loft. Yeah, tough landing spot again. Oh, f damn it. Okay, Bo, come on. Oh. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think I've probably got a better chance of putting this than chipping it in, to be honest. What have we got here? 17 feet, 5 inches up. Ooh, so close. So we didn't get our birdie. That's going to be another, that's going to be a part. I was going to say that's going to be another part. I ain't got many other pars have I? <laughs> I've got two bogeys and all five holes. Right, who we got here? Sergio Garcia, Rafa Cabrero Bello, Justin Thomas, Doc Redman, Patrick Cantley, Hideki Matsuyama, Brandon Grace, Jason Cockrack, Dustin Johnson, and Byung Hun. And pretty good group. As I said, though, uh, I'm not going to get anywhere near them guys. Not on a course like this. Okay, hole six, 484 yards. Par four, stroke and decks. Two. And again, you can see the, the fairway just thins right down there. Oh, look at that. We've actually got a pin in the center of the green, but look at the front of it. Oh, look at that big slope. Right. Hold on. Is that gonna, oh, that's going to catch that tree, I think. So I might have to put a little bit of fade on this. Ho, ho, ho. Have I put enough on it? I hope so. Yeah. Perfect. Nice big drive actually, 316 yards. Okay, bit of a slope, right to left, 165, so it's playing around about 169. We're gonna go up to the 172 with the seven iron, and we're gonna put a bit of loft on it. Don't want to put too much loft on it because I want to make sure I get on that top section. All right. Oh, oh, I thought I hit slow there. That really felt slow. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, come on, ball. so close to being a good shot that's what i'm saying if you had these greens on moderate oh that would have been beautiful okay 24 feet or oh, one foot up everything's going right to left here oh no but well, we'll take the par i'm quite happy with pars at the moment Just, know, just one or two birdies, not too many bogeys I'm hoping for here. Okay, hole 7, 157 yards. Par 3, stroke index 18. So this is actually playing the easiest hole on the course at the moment. Now, them yellow lines behind it, is that sloping down to back towards the pin? Yes, it is. So we can afford to go past the pin and let it come back here, I reckon. Okay, 142, so it's playing around about 146. We'll go up to the 148 with a 9 iron, and we'll put a bit of loft on it. Now that should go past the pin and hopefully come back. Is it going to come back? Come on, come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, it is coming back a little bit. Pick up. Come on, keep going. <laughs> Blow it. That's going to stop there, and that's going to leave us a little downhill putt, I think. I know, a little sort of uphill putt. Okay. 11 feet, one inch up. Ah, oh, look how quick that turned. Oh, dear.
K hole 8, 541 yards, par 4, stroke index 12. And again, what a spectacular, beautiful view off this tee. See all the way down the fairway. Lovely. That is superb. What a hole. It's the tree-lined fairways as well. I think that, that looks great from there. It really does. Okay, another peach of a drive. Almost bang in the middle of both markers there. Sorry about that. A little bit of a sniffle. Don't worry, I haven't got the old COVID. <laughs> Get a one night. Oh my goodness, look at that. You are shitting me. 198, plane 196. If I go there, I'm way over the back. I'm going to have to play for par here. I'm going to have to play down here. And go in for a flop shot. So it's 198, 160. Maybe there. And just take a little flop shot in, I think. Even though I hate flop shots. Going to have to. Or. So that's tough. If I can get there. Maybe even get a little chip on. Mm, no, I'm going to have to go for there and just go with a flop shot, I think. Let's aim a little bit more left. <laughs> yeah, course management is key in this on this course. I mean, there's no way I could have went for that pin. And I would have ended up way over the back of the green. Okay, 20 yards. A little flop shot here, come on. Ah, oh, bloody slow again. I fucking hate flop shots. Okay. What we've got here? 15 feet, one inch up. Turn your bugger, go on, go on, get in there. <laughs> Finally, we got a birdie. It takes us down to plus one. <gasps> no, plus two. Did I get another birdie? Oh, look. Hmm? Oh, it's a par. Yeah, shit. One, two. Oh, I just played for par, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Hole nine, 357 yards. Par four, stroke index 16. That was a bit woo woo there. I got a birdie. <laughs> So, I mean, look at this, the way he's done this hole as well. He's actually cut the fairway right back, so you're going to have to go in with a longer club just to make the, the, the approach shot that little bit harder because it's a shorter hole. So I'm going to have to actually drop this back to the five hybrid because that looks like it's sloping downhill there. Do you know what? I'm actually going to drop it down to the five iron. I do not want to run out here. And it's a pretty short hole, so five iron. We should be going in there with a not a bad club, I think. K okay, one fifty six plane one fifty seven, and we've got one sixty with the eight iron. A bit of loft. Oh, check my light, left to right. Oh, that is staying out left. Did I push that? I think I pulled that a little bit left there, actually. Oh, where's that ball going? Look at that. It's just caught a little slope and turned away. Oh. Yeah, I think with the firmness and the speed of the greens, if you go, I don't know, a couple of feet past the pin, you're, you're, you're catching a slope. Okay, 31 feet, one foot up. Okay, let's try not over hit this. But I under hit it. Don't want to be doing that. If you under hit it, you never give it a chance. Okay, so that's another part. Okay, on to the back nine. 
Hole 10, 519 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. So quite a lengthy par 4, this one. But as I say, it is quite a lengthy um, course itself at 7,850 yards. The longest one so far out of the, what, this is the fourth course I've done, I think. And again, look at that pin position. Absolutely nasty. At least I'm hitting my drives pretty nice. I'm pushing and pulling them a little bit though, left and right. But I'm still getting the tempo off on them. Nice big drive, 320 yards. That's going to leave us on a bit of a right to left slope with the looks of it. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. It's not a slope, it's a hill. <laughs> K195, playing around about 200. And I think I'm not going to... I'm not going to play with loft and that here, not without water there. I'm just going to go for this and just go to the back of the green, I think. Or do I pull it down to the one? Ho, 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 ho. That's playing 190. Do you know, I think I might get away with that, you know, with that wind. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I will. But if it goes in the water, that's my own fault. Oh, I don't know that slope. I need to pull it right over here somewhere. Yep, that was me. Bollocks it. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous with that water and I hit it fast. God damn it. Okay, 26 feet and one foot down. So this is just going to be a tap. I'm just going to tap it just to get it started and just let it, the slope take it all the way down. Come on. I mean, you look how hard I hit that. I just tapped it to get it rolling. And that's going to be a par. I'm quite happy with that. That's a looks like a pretty tough hole, that one. Okay, hole 11, 482 yards, par 4, stroke index 9, again, beautiful. Wow, what a course. You know, I'm going to have to play the members version as well. Uh, what I'll probably do is, because I'm going to try and get one of these courses done every night, if uh, if they, they keep coming out the way they're coming out, I think it's 5 or 6 out now. Uh, if I do get a break in between, I'll, I'll play the members version just to see the difference. Okay, should be able to just, oh, look at that again. Look how close he's put these trees. That should be okay. It might just clip that one there. And that wind is going to bring it in though. So I might just put a bit of draw on it. Oh, is that too much draw? Shit. Come on. Oh, that'll do it. Right in the center of the fairway. Yeah, I thought I'd put way too much draw on that there. Okay, 160. It's playing 158 roundabout. So, oh, bloody big slope again. So let's put a bit of loft on that. Oh, that's going to go way right at the pin, it looks like. <clears throat> and it's going to... Uh, I just, as soon as it landed there, I thought, yep, yeah, it's going to feed it's feed away from the hole. <laughs> what a tough course. Okay, right. A little bit of right to left to start with, and then... Left to right, just up by the hole. So we've got 22 feet. Or one foot up. You know what, I might just hit this straight at it, you know. I think it's going to go a little bit more right to left, though. Turn, turn. Oh, baby, get in now. Nice. Nice. 
K hole 12, 561 yards, par 5, stroke index 17. Okay, this fairway takes a turn round to the left here. Okay, let's have a look, see where the pin is. It's 561, but I don't know if that corner might come into play. We might have to play short. <coughs> Okay. Now, uh, do you see that little slope there on the fair on the green? There was one feeding the ball left. There was one feeding the ball right. As you're going right up towards the pin. <laughs> Nasty man. Okay, that is a peach of a drive. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Didn't want to hit the tree though, but I wanted it just to land on that right hand side left hand side should I say and then just feed over to the right yeah look got slope it's feeding away that direction and feeding away that direction ho 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 ok 216 so that's playing 213 I'm going to go down to the 5 iron here And everything's going left to right once it reaches the green. So we'll play a little bit over that direction there. But then we've got... Oh, oh come on. We have to go that direction. Because the slope's going to push it to the left. Oh, and that's pushed that quite a bit left. Bloody hell. And that's going to come off the green. Or is it? Oh, it's held the green. Okay. Left to right. Uh, right to left start. And then left to right up by the pin. But it looks like it's going more left to right here. Okay, 31. <clears throat> that should be good round about there, I think. Whoa. Up that little slope and turn. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Ounce more weight on that. And that would have been in a bloody hole. Okay, hole 13. 246 yards. Par 3. Stroke index 11. And this looks like another one that you're going to have to play safe to the centre of the green. And hopefully get a good putt. Because you are not going to land a ball anywhere near that pin. Okay, 236, 226 we're playing, and I think I'm just going to hit it straight down the centre here, and hopefully get it on the green. Oh, damn it. Pulled it again to the left. Oh, but it hit the green. That's okay. I thought I pulled that to the left. I thought that would end up in that bunker there, but no, that's fine. Pin high. Okay. Oh, I kind of stayed straight all the way. A little bit short anyway. And you're never going to get the ball in the hole if you hit them short. You've at least got to give them a chance. Okay, hole 14. 503 yards. Pop hole, stroke index 5. Okay, a little bit of a turn around to the left here and that pin looks in another dodgy area over to the left front left covered by the bunker <laughs> oh and look how thin it is down here as well we're gonna have to come down here just bump it i think Oh, shut up, crowd. I knew that was going to be okay. He's done a great job, as I said earlier, like on the crowds, the way they've got, got them all spread out. Okay, 175. That's playing around about 171. And we're 172 with a 7 iron, so a little bit of loft. Oh. 
Oh, again, pushed that way over to the left. Look at that swing. And again, feeding away from the hole. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's so nasty. Oh, somebody in the tree there. You see him? <laughs> right. Okay, everyone's going right to left until it gets to about what here. No, it is that. Everything's right to left all the way, actually. So, what's that? 51 and one foot up. I think I've under hit that again. Yep. Oh, I'm so. Oh, bloody 187 greens. I didn't want to hit it too hard and end up on the fringe. But we'll take the par. Okay, hole 15, 523 yards, par 4, stroke index 7, another long hole. Nice little water feature there, in the middle of the big pond. Okay. Oh, look at that for a pin. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder when he's designing these holes, he thinks, yeah, that's going to catch the bastards out. Look at this. I'll put this here and, oh, that's going to be tough. Yeah. <laughs> Sadistic. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm really happy with my drives today, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No. Again, that was down to me. Right, 90 to 95%. I'm gonna play safe here, I think. Aim here. And I tell you what, that looks like it might actually feed round towards the hole. <clears throat> Let's play there. I wanna try and take this bit of water out of play. So if I hit it to about there, we're on a bit of a left to right slope but it's going to push it over to the right so hopefully it'll just get on the green oh that slope didn't move it hardly at all oh shit oh fucking hell that was so close Bloody hell, look at that. Right. <laughs> Let's hit it before it drops in the water. <laughs> Put some loft on this. No! God damn it. <clears throat> chip. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to chip this. No. I'm going to have to go with a flop here again, I think. I don't think a chip will get up over there. Oh, I don't know. Damn it! I <laughs> should have went with a flop. Son of a... Back down the evens as well. Now I'm going to pick up another bogey. Oh, stop ball, please. Oh, you are shitting me. What the? Uh, my putting stroke. Look at that. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was hoping to come in at evens there as well, but no chance now. That is nasty. Look at that. A seven. Two birdies in the, on the bounce there as well. Damn. Okay, hole 16. 215 yards. Par three. Stroke index one. But as a... I, you can't get angry with a course like this though the course is beautiful the course is hard it is hard as freaking nails but 
I'm enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. 199. Five down. Okay. It really makes you think, this course. It really, really does. Oh, look at that. Right in between bloody clubs. That's way too short with that wind. That's way too long. I'm going to have to go with this one now. I'll put some loft on it. Oh, no. Oh, my old go Pete Tong here. Is it, where's it going? Oh, no. Fucking hell. I thought that was going to go in the water. Oh, another tough part. Tough, tough, tough. Okay, 45 feet, one foot down. It's going to catch that yellow little slope there and push it way over to the left, I think, so. Oh, don't think I've hit that hard enough. Oh, I, oh, I hang. I have. Come on, Paul. Slow. There we go. Right. Hopefully we'll pick up the par here. Oh, one hole 16. Well, that's stroke index one. So I'm happy with the par there. <clears throat> Okay, hole 17, 467 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. Okay, okay, got a big bit of a dog leg, round to the left here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right, to miss them trees, I'm going to have to aim there. Now, I would have to put a shit ton of draw on that to get that around that corner. So I'm going to drop it down. Drop it down to two. That might still be too much. Oh, that's so close. Let's just go with this. If it clips a tree, it's going to slow it down. It might actually help. No, it didn't clip a tree. Oh, that is okay, actually. Plenty of room. Yeah, I couldn't have went with the driver though. If we went with the driver, you'd have to put quite a bit of draw on that. That's quite a tight corner. Okay, 168. And we've got what? Let's go with 160. And I'm not going to put any loft on it. I'm just going to hit it straight at it. Oh! You couldn't have got any bloody closer than that. That actually bounced on the rough there, I think, and not the fringe. <clears throat> I think if I played this once or twice more, I'd probably get a better score, because you kind of know after you play the course. Okay, 18 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, you son of a... Now, if my putting stroke was straight, that would have dropped. But I pulled that over to the left. Like I said, if I, if I rotate my controller just a little touch on my putts, I can hit a very nice straight putt. But I can't control my distance because the controller feels offset. It doesn't feel right. Okay, final hole. Hole 18, 476 yards. Par 4, stroke index 15. Now, if you're a person that gets frustrated <clears throat> with a course, you think they're getting, you think they're maybe tricked up or just too hard and the, the settings are way overboard, then I would suggest definitely play the member version for this one. Because if you do get easily frustrated, you're probably going to be throwing your controller at your TV if you play this one. <laughs> Me, yeah, it's hard, but I am loving it. It is what a course. I think you've got you got to laugh at yourself though when you play courses like this. But I'll tell you what, when if this see if this wins, right? You watch TGC tours when the, if this does win, and you see the scores that some of these guys have been putting out on this course, and then you'll know why they've made it this hard.
Okay, 154. So it's playing around about 157. Okay. Oh, is that going to make it? Uphill. Nope. Damn it. So I'm going to have to put a bit of down loft on this, I think. Just to try and get this on the green. Please go on the bloody green. Don't go in that bunker. Oh! Don't feed away. Stay there. Stay freaking there, Paul. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I haven't took a thumbnail yet, have I? Give me one sec, guys. Because we've got the crowds out. We'll get a thumbnail of the 18th, I think. Yeah, why not? So we've got the crowds. And let's take one from here. I do apologize about this, guys, but how about that? Got his noggin there and there as well. Yeah, that's okay. Tell you what, let me just go up here. Game settings, take off the putting grid. Take the screenshot. There we go. And put the putting grid back on. Camera settings, HUD. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Right. 15 feet, 3 inches up. Come on. Can we get a birdie on the last bloody hole? Nope. Frick. <laughs> ah, overhit that. Way overhit that. Oh, come on. Right. There you go. Three over. <laughs> two two birdies. Oh, damn. Let's have a look at the scorecard. Right, there we go. I mean, that wasn't... Two bogeys on the front nine, but that 15th hole, that's the one that killed me. Triple bogey. Now, if I only hit a bogey on that, I would have, I would have, I would have been pretty happy, to be honest. That would have put me on evens. <clears throat> yeah, the triple bogey killed me. So, there you go, guys. That is... Let me just get the name right. The Conservatory Club West. And this is the major edition. Don't forget, you've got the members edition out there as well. So you maybe give that a play first, then try this, and then you'll be able to see the difference. But what a, what a course. Absolutely beautiful. I absolutely loved it. And I told you at the start I was going to struggle through this course because I've, I've played all of CSU Golfers courses, and he doesn't make easy courses. Beautiful course. Loved it. This, to me... This is my favorite so far, even though it's the hardest one. And you know what I'm like about the physics and everything like that with this game. But this course, wow, loved it. Anyway, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Every time I post a video, I'll post it over on Twitter so you'll be notified. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that little bell, give it a little dingy dong. And every time you upload a video, you'll be notified as well. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll catch us again next time.